Hello everyone, it's LA again. Back in town, I done drove back. How y'all doing? It's been good. How y'all doing? I have my ups and my downs. I ain't gonna lie to you. But hey, it's been, you know, God's got a way of fixing everything. When you're feeling some type of way, you get untype of way because he got it. I mean, if you think he ain't got it, believe me, he got it. You just got to know he got it, okay? Okay, we're going to get started. I'm going to fix the lighting a little bit because it's kind of dark in here. It's in a good spot. Are y'all ready? Well, I am. And if you don't like, you like, you know, please like, share, and comment. And this is going to be for my um, Geminis. We'll start with you. And this is going to be for the next five days for my Geminis. Okay, it's from to start the next five days. Okay, so it'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Next, all the way up to Saturday. Can I get from now until Saturday? My Gemini's, what's going to be going on for Gemini's? Up to Saturday. What's going to be going on? Gemini's. Okay, are y'all ready? I hope everybody's well and everybody's doing 100, you know. Okay, here we go. What do we have for our Gemini's? What's going on for Monday? We have the lover's card upside down. Okay, the next card. That's for Tuesday. I mean Tuesday. And then we have uh, two of wands upside down. That's for Wednesday. And then we have uh, Thursday coming up. Let's see. I need a card for Thursday, please. Thursday, we got the Temperance card upside down. Friday, let's see. We need a card for Friday. Friday, we got the, the Eight of Swords upside down. And then on uh, Saturday, it looked like we got until Sunday. And we got, it fell on the floor. We got the Eight of Wands. We got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we'll go ahead and do Sunday. We'll do all the way up to Sunday. Can I have a card for Sunday, please? I got two cards for Sunday. Okay, for my Gemini's. Ooh, we, we getting deep, so we're going to need to get into this. Well, looks like we got... Um, that's going on. We have the upside of the lover's card on Tuesday. It says unreliable failure to meet the test, separation, frustration, interference by others, fickleness, unwise plans. In other words, others are interrupting your relationship, Gemini. You let them get in it and tell you what to do. And they're making a big fuss out of what you should do in your relationship and half of them ain't happy they self. But you know how it goes, Gemini's. You got to trust your instinct what's best for you. Okay, we'll get some clarity on this in a minute. We have the two of wands up, right? It says, um, master individual, this is for Wednesday. Master individual, ruler, attachment of goals and need, boldness, courage in undertaking and dominant personality. Um, mischievously in the midst of the worldly riches. In other words, uh, we'll explain that when we get through. A person is basically uh, overtaken by uh, boldness. They feel bold and uh, unattachment because these people are juicing you up and making you feel like you can do everything on your own and you don't need a person. But I can understand it because sometimes people will do it. They just want to ruin something because that you have, they think is worse on the other side. But sometimes you don't know you got better on one side. Uh, the temperance you had upside down, discord, disillusion, conflict of interest, hostility, inability to work with others, difficulty in understanding others, and you're a loner. You're feeling like you got nobody, you're all by yourself. You're feeling lonely, you're feeling like your cup ain't getting filled, it's dumping right out. Then we got to, we got, to, we got a situation going on. We got uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now we got Friday here, and it says the Eight of Swords, but it says upside down. Trickery in the past, difficult, hard work, depressed state of mind, delinquent, accidental, 
fatalities. In other words, you depressed state of mind, you feeling uh, you're going into the past and you, you're hurting yourself, you're defeating your own purpose. So you need to watch that. Okay, you have the Eight of Wands, upright, swift activity, sudden progress or movement, speed, high still made decision, too rapid, advance, management delivered instantly. Okay, in other words, you're making two, uh, uh, making your decisions uh, hastily like because things are not moving fast enough for you. But I'm going to tell you some, Gemini, you need to just really take your pace with that because it's going to break you down in the end. You're running too, you're trying to get too fast. As they say, do things too fast. Okay, the Knight of Cups upside down. It says suddenly uh, trickery, deception, fraud, a sly and cunning person, a person capable of swindling you could be... Uh, trying to come in your midst on um, Sunday, so be careful, or sometime this week. Um, this person is uh, swiftful, and they got deceitfulness on their mind. Then you got the Queen of Swords upside down, narrow-mindedness, mischievousness, big. Uh, you just got uh, deceitfulness, vengefulness, pertness, and ill-tempered person. In other words, you're all pissed, you're pissed off, Gemini, but sometimes you taking into too much. You're doing too much. And what's going to happen is going to backfire. You got to watch your temper. Just like anybody else got to watch their temper. Technically. You know, we all will. Can I have some clarity, please? Can I have some clarity here for the lovers? Let's see what's going on. For the lovers, please. Can I have some, a card for here? For my Gemini's for, for Tuesday. The lover's card, Archangel. You got some, well, that's too many cards. Hold on. He wants to tell a lot. Okay, on Tuesday, what's going on with this upside down lover's card, Archangel? Michael, could you help me with that? Okay. Enlightenment. In other words, you got enlightenment going on in your relationship. Um, you're looking out, you, you're trying to broaden your horizon, you're seeing beyond the point, you're enlightened by the situation. Um, basically, it, you're enlightened. You, you're feeling like, you know, if I seek peace, I must embrace my fears. In other words, you don't want to embrace your fears in your relationship or just basically in your regular life. You don't want to embrace you don't want to face your fears to the stuff and you're going to have to learn to face your fears, Gemini. You can uh, keep sitting there in your relationship pretending like it's all right and the road's good and if it ain't, you got to sprout up and let it go. 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 Okay. Let's go here. Let's go here. I'm going to take, I want to go to Wednesday. The Two of Wands. What's going on with that, Archangel Michael? Can you tell me what's going on with this Two of Wands? Uh, you're on a quest. You don't know which way to go. You don't know which what to do. You don't know which road to take. You're all in um, everywhere. Your mind's everywhere. But let me tell you something. Take your time and do some prayer. And go to Almighty again to guide you the right direction. Because the move too fast could, could just be a waste of your money that you, you're going to lose. And you ain't going to want to lose it. You want to keep it. Uh, let's go over here to Thursday. Let me, can you tell me what's going on with the temperance card? And this is not for everybody. You know, this is for everybody. This ain't for no specific person, okay? Uh, perception. Your perception is off. And you need to uh, get your perception of understanding others. You, you're, you're too, you think you, you're perfection. And you feel like you, there's nothing wrong with you. No flaws with you. And everybody else got the flaws but you in the conflict of interest. Come on now. You got to look at it this. We all got something that we got to be a little bit understanding with. We're all going through the pain of no money. We're all going through the pain of people that I don't like in people's lives. But you cannot pick the people for them. You have to pick. let them do what they got to do. In relationships, you will lose. Because you're trying to change a person and mold them to what you want them to be, Gemini. But 
they are it is what it is just like i said when the, the skunk comes out and you out in the open and you ain't ran and you ain't hid and he get you that stank stays on you for a long time it takes all kinds of stuff to get it off so i'm gonna tell you something you know better realize who the skunk coming to your door to make you all twisted and but you're all in yourself because you don't want to be vulnerable you need to stop that because ain't nothing wrong with being vulnerable i'd rather be vulnerable than being foolish okay uh the eight of swords upside down please could you clarify that well we got here the problem with your eight of swords is you got insecurities and that's what's calling you a de depressed state of mind you're losing your mind because of insecurities you need to back away from the insecurities because that's going to cause you a lot of pain you can't go around worrying about somebody if you don't trust them then what the heck you with them that's the problem with people they too focus on uh what well, they're going to cheat they're going to do that and do that first of all don't point a finger until you see it until you obviously know that person's doing it because you could miss out on a good person Yes, people make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. But if you think everybody's perfect and you think you can decipher what your man going to be like, every man got a flaw in some shape or form. Then you got men that don't, they regret the saying yes to you. Or you got, it's just the dumbest things they sometimes, you just don't know. Okay, let's go over to uh, Saturday, please. Give me a card for this eight of wands. Please extract this eight of wands, please. Eight of wands. Okay. Looks like on the eight of wands, you got creation. You're doing rapid creation, uh, movement speed, hasty, and you're making hasty decisions because you want growth so bad. You want everything to go, but the creation time takes a minute. You gotta be patient. Everything is about patience and timing. It might not be right now, but when it comes, your growth is going to overflow. You know what I'm saying? But we don't got patience sometimes, and that's what gets us in trouble. Um, let me go over here to this uh, Knight of Cups. Can you describe the Knight of Cups for me? Why can't you mind, though? Please describe Knight of Cups for me. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups for me. Why can't you? for my gymnasts. Okay. We got a card that went flowing down. Bittersweet. In other words, you got, it says sudden uh, trickery, deception, side person, and cunning person. A person capable of swinging, but also it's going to be bittersweet for you. In other words, uh, you're not playing. You're looking at, but you, you better watch out for the people that are behind you being sneaky and uh, want to take what you what you put out there's people jealous of you and think that this is the way it is i got this money and i'm gone or i'm getting a better job and i'm gone there's so many things that people are thinking a widow is open it as a door gently closes in other words a window that closes there's another door to open remember that it's going to be bittersweet if you run into the bridge the next day it's going to be something different down the road, okay? Let me clarify the Queen of Swords upside down. Please could you clarify Queen of Swords from upside down? One card. Queen of Swords upside down. So you got something. You got it going on. You just can't get sidetracked. Could you clarify the Queen of Swords from this? Okay, we got use your intuition about things. You know, somebody with ill temper, if you feel in some in your intuition, they that they trickery, that they sneaky, that they up to something, use your instincts. Most of the time it's right. When you gotta think something, overthink it, then it's wrong. Usually when it comes to you just like a light or this person, usually they're right. But usually when you sit on it, it's not right. So you make sure it's right before you make a, a decision to do what you, what you feel in your mind, Gemini. Because remember what, what you do in your life, it's gonna disappear what you're doing for your kids or what you're doing with your grandchildren or what you do. You want them to repeat the same cycle with all this dysfunctionalness. It's gonna just, just it's not gonna be good for you. Uh, let's go over here to this other deck here. 
Can I have some more clarity for my Gemini's? Can I have some more clarity for my Gemini's? Luckily, I already shuffled these cards real good before I start. I try to keep them all good and shuffled. Because that's the key to it, too. Because sometimes you think you're getting the same message, and it's not. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Can, uh, I can, can you give me a clarification for this? For Tuesday. This Tuesday right here. Can you give me a clarification? Uh, looks like too many cards fell out. That's what I don't like about these. So what I'm going to do going to pick them because they're so big and they're hard to oh it fell out for Tuesday okay it says I want to be the queen stating your own sorority declaring freedom passing a test in other words you want freedom you, that's the whole enlightenment here you want to be free from all of the pain and misery of this relationship you're not feeling it if it's not working for you and you feel like you're missing something you feel like I want to be a queen. I don't. If I'm not seen as a queen, I'm not satisfied. A queen gets everything that they want and put to their feet. You're living in a fantasy because half the people, if you ain't got no money, you can't afford it. You can do a little for your queen. It both works both ways. You can't one do it and the other don't do it. It don't work like that. You know, you think you're the queen and everybody else is is your maid. Come on now. You got to be fair about it. You know, you want to be a queen, then you also there's other people along the way that you must take into regard, not just yourself. When you do that, you'll understand where I'm coming from. But as long as you take advantage of people because you think you're the queen and you deserve this and you deserve that, you better start thinking what you really deserve. And sometimes we want to be more than we are. You know, we just define us. And there's nothing wrong with that. But don't think you just beyond, you just so, just so fine, you know, that I can't be touched. Stop that. Stop that. It's, you know, basically, this card represents rising your status. You are taking charge of your life making decisions for yourself and settling rules and boundaries that work for you, declaring your independence, becoming powerful and influential, wanting to embrace your potential. In other words, you want your potential to shine. You can't stand it. It's irritating the crap out of me. Okay, let's go over here to uh, Wednesday, please. Can I have a card for Wednesday? Let's see if it just give me one card for Wednesday. These cards stick sometimes, so. Can I have a card for Wednesday for my Gemini? See, I told you. I'm going to come out with a thousand cards for you. You must have just blue day mind, you know. So let's see here. Let's try it again. Let's see, it came out with that time. Okay, all must have prizes. Uh, trying to please everyone. In other words, you're trying to please everyone, Gemini. Some of y'all are overbearing yourself, and you oh, you're you're leaving yourself without completion. You deserve, you deserve. First of all, you need to say to yourself, you deserve. You know, you you're trying to fix the puzzles. You're trying to figure out things. You need to figure out of trying to please yourself a little bit too. Nurture yourself too. You deserve it. Okay, let's go to uh, Thursday. I want to go right here, Archangel Micah. Give me a card for Thursday. One card, please. For Thursday, please. For my Gemini's. One card for this Thursday. For my Gemini's. Okay, now we're talking about this came upside down. You're falling. Okay, this card is falling, but it was upside down. The unknown, the scene, change. In other words, but it was upside down. That was kind of can lead to I'm not sure uh, it's a lot of things with that card so I want to make sure because you know when you're falling sometimes we fall in a rut and we can't get out of in other words you can't let go of it because it's a chance you take 
that they go do better or you gonna do better than them. Some people like confusion. To me, I don't. I figure it's over, it's over. You can't you can't make somebody want to be with you. Okay, this card reminds holding on what is no longer best for you. The the fear of what comes next. Inability to surrender to the, the process of change. Wanting all to remain the same even while change is taking place. In other words, you live it in your head. And then you're saying, I wonder if shall fall right through the earth. You know, you're feeling like the end. You feel like letting go. You know, you, you got to check yourself at the building. You're unsure about what you're doing, but you're playing with everybody's emotions. And that ain't cool either. <laughs> it ain't cool. Okay, it just ain't cool because it could backfire on you. So sick. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's go over here to Friday. Could you give me a card for Friday, please? One card for here. Represents Friday for my Gemini's. Gemini's. Okay, we have one falling us. So I'm going to take this one. And it was the nonsense. It's time to talk sense, but it's in the reverse. So that's telling me nonsense. You're not willing to talk. It's like it's in the reverse so that it's not the same. And what I'm going to make sure that's what they're meaning. So I'm going to look it up because I want to make sure I tell you right. Oh, it says backing down at the moment of truth, running from confrontation, allowing someone to intimidate you. In other words, you allowing somebody to intimidate you. An ability to find the courage within you, fear of punishment, loss of voice, believing you cannot be brave without being aggressive. In other words, you feel like you can't be brave without being aggressive, so you just run from a fight. And you know what they say about that? You know, you getting that, is you telling me you getting coward system that you can't talk? You ain't going with that. Gemini's ain't nothing wrong with your mouth. What's wrong with your mouth? It takes two, your other personality sometimes to bring that other personality out. Because when you're mad, you're able to talk. It's just that you're willing, you need to, if you want something to work out in a relationship, you both got to talk it out. And if you can't, you eventually got to wait till they can talk, but it don't have to be talked about. Because if you got kids, it's going to get worse. Okay, I need Saturday. Pull me, I need a call for Saturday, please. Your energy is all over the place. I can kind of tell. Um, you can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present, but it was upside down. You can't go back to yesterday. You can't uh, go back you know, to yesterday because yesterday done passed. And you're going to have to uh, go forward, you know. Um, you can't take back what you've done. You can't take back nothing, but you can, you know, show that you got some sense. It's always good to, to clean your mess up because tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. And in the reverse, living in the past, speaking of past events, Musing over what once was, believing you are the same one you were before, living through stories rather than experiences. Memory overrides the present. No, no, ap no exceptions of the future. Of the no except you don't have exceptions of the future. In other words, you can't see what's in front of you. You're trying to go back and go back tomorrow, and you oh I can fix it. I wish I could go back and redo some things. You can't do that. You have to change the now. Everything happens in due time and unless you're a time traveler. And that, you'll be back again if you don't get this right. At least that's what they tell me. You won't be back again you know, if you don't complete your karma and do it now. You're going to do all this again. But what role you take, that's the case. Okay, let's do this other card on this last day. Every Sunday, it just fell out. You can tell when something want to say something. It's always tea time. Endless moments. Reputation. You know, you look so disgusted. <laughs> that face. <laughs> you know, you look like, oh my God, I wish you just shut up. I'm hearing this every day. 
and it's always tea time. I gotta just sit here in this boring in this situation, you know. But you you gotta stop and realize that it's only that way because you're making it that way. A change in schedule, repetition, cycle, pattern, and loops. Situations being repeated, being trapped by schedules that need to be changed. A wonderful time to challenge the old, the order in which things are done. Reworking traditions so they are more aligned with the way you are in the world. Basically, you need to fix your life. You need to get a life. So I'm going to uh, pull a card for the angels for you. Can I have a card to question? If anything you want to think about, do it now that you would like it to come out. And when you read, see this bed, it go, just think of what you want. And if it comes to you, then it's meant for you. Oh, whatever you're, whatever you want and you're saying the question to, the card came out, yes. I don't know if that's relationship, what that's, what that's going meaning by, but I could find out. Hold on. If they'll tell me. Can I have some clarity to the yes card? Can I have some clarity to this card here of the yes? Can I have some clarity to the yes card? Clarity to the, these cards being, I hate them right here. They sometimes being get on my nerves. I ain't gonna lie about that. Okay. Can I have some clarity, ain't Archangel, on this? What the, uh, this contains to this yes? Some kind of clarity on this yes? What this is about? Can I have some clarity on this Archangel, Michael? Hold on, it's too much. Somebody asking for the world, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And I have some clarity. There we go. It says success, material attainment, advantagement, well being, abundance, good health, victory, difficult, surrender, stability, wishes fulfilled. In other words, they're basically saying success is coming your way um, to be attained in abundance and good health and uh victory in difficult situations stability wishes fulfilled in other words they're gonna fill your cup because you deserve to be filled you you, you deserve to be treated right is there anything else you would like to say archangel michael and angels would y'all like to say raphael what else would y'all would like to say to gemini's for this week that's of great importance okay Whatever you was thinking about, unlikely. They gave the answer, unlikely. For someone, I don't know what. Anything else you would like to say? Thanks, Mike. Okay. Basically, we got with your answers within the next few months, whatever you asked for, ask for help from your from others instead of trying to do everything yourself. Well, Jim and I, that's your reading today for this week. And I hope you enjoy and God bless y'all. Bye bye. And don't forget to put that down subscribe button. I really appreciate it, y'all. It's so important. Thank you.